What is up, FIFA commenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. If you're new on this corner, you know how it goes. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, you let me know if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Follow me on my socials as well. Twitter, uh, it's FIFA commenters. If you want to send me your teams, if you want to tag me on anything that you'd like me to discuss, or if you want to just chat about real life soccer, TikTok, of course, uh, for the special edits, and of course, the exclusive content there. Boys, today's episode is going to be reacting to this video posted by... Nick run the foot market, of course, a legend, a legend, absolute legend in the community. Big shout out to you. I'm sure you're going to continue pushing out insane and sensational content for the community. Okay, the first main issue that Nick discussed in this video as well and that I will be elaborating on is content versus gameplay. And let me tell you, this is probably the biggest issue in this game right i really see it as two forces that are fighting constantly so the content is one force and the gameplay is one force that are fighting constantly to own the space in this game it's easier for them to put out content after content after content than it is for them to fix the game right at the start of the year right the fifa community sits right here and the gameplay of meaning fifa 22 the content all of that sits on the other circle there and there's a lot of commonalities to be fair at the start of the game those circles that you see on the screen are probably one big circle right but as the game moves on very quickly that shrinks right that's that common space between the fifa community and fifa 22 keeps shrinking because one people have seen how poor the gameplay has been the entire year and two they're so oversaturated by the content that has been released by esports that they literally have nothing else to give. And I want to use that segue to talk about one big issue, right? The fact that it is July and we just got a major, major pack that addresses issues that we've been dealing with the entire year. On the screen there, you see one of those big issues and that was shot blocking. Esports has released a patch and said that that is going to be nerfed, that is going to be fixed in many ways. But why wait until July? Countless games and division rivals for champs and squad battles only now only now, boys and girls, are we getting, finally, this big issue of shot blocking fixed. So the big question is, why Why does eSports put so much content, focuses so much on the content and not on the gameplay, when ultimately the experience, it's not about collecting the cards, right? You build a card, you build your end game team, but it's mostly about enjoying the game. I believe that it is a diversion, right? The fact that eSports releases so much content is simply a diversion from the main issue. The gameplay is rigged with coding issues, with coding problems, and it just, it just sucks. So, to get back on track with the excessive content that eSports releases, at this point, everybody has 5-star skill, everybody has 4-star weak foot. The Rodrigo 94 compared to the Philippe Anderson uh, right wing uh, 94. It's so hard to hold on to a team for more than a week before you need to upgrade. That's a feeling that eSports should really try and amend, right? People should not feel like that. In playing this game, people should feel like they can build a team, at least enjoy a team for about two to three weeks, even a month before they need to switch again and buy either another player or complete another SPC. But as soon as Team of the Season starts, the decline is so rapid. As soon as team of the season starts, there's promo after promo after promo. And we need to be very careful about what we ask here because the community does ask about promos when there's no promo, and I've been guilty of that myself, are easy to criticize EA for not putting out content and for being lazy. We should criticize the fact that the gameplay is poor. And this is just a recommendation from you. Your voices are as important as the YouTube uh, create content creators. Okay, moving on to issue number two. I believe that issue number two really is focused on effort versus reward, right? FIFA is a hell of a game, right? Since FIFA has got, gotten the online mode, it has been a hell of a game. Okay, but the issue, the main issue that is so core to this is that there is no guarantee of reward regardless of the effort you put in. Okay, winning more games, doing better in foot champs, doing better in division rival is not rewarded by esports. And that right there, my friends, is so destructive to the community because it destroys the foundation of enjoyment. Let's take an example that somebody tries very hard and, you know, gets more win in either division rival or foot champs. Uh, and they get absolutely shafted in the packs as a reward. They feel cheated. We feel cheated when that happens. Everybody will feel cheated when that happens. And that energy is going to have to be transferred somewhere. That somewhere else is the next player. That somewhere else is the next game. Okay. And I cannot believe that esports doesn't know this. Esports 
very much knows this. They know that they are the ones fostering this poor environment where individuals in the community have no interest in helping each other out because they don't feel helped by the creator of the game. They don't feel helped when they are winning the game and then there's a script thing that comes into play, they lose the game. They don't feel helped when they have an ultimate pack that they open and that ultimate pack doesn't even give them a board down, right? No walkouts. That is insane. That is insane. An ultimate pack. They feel cheated when they complete uh, 11 wins in foot champions and you get two red picks and those two red picks are absolutely trash. They're absolutely trash, right? So effort is not rewarded. And that is the foundation of enjoyment. That is the foundation of any single work. If you put work into something, you expect to be rewarded. But if esports blurs those lines and they've blurred those lines from years now, they create and foster a context, a the environment where people are constantly feeling cheated. The current status quo is simple. The big packs are nerfed, the small packs are random. You'll open those big packs and you'll get absolutely shafted, absolutely screwed, but the small packs are so random that you can go ahead and pack uh, an icon player, an icon out of that. You can pack the craziest uh, card that, that are out of promos out of these small packs. So eSports, it can't be that random. This is not the casino. This is a video game, but by continuing to foster mechanisms that are so random, what you do is that you just piss off the community and you make people feel like they're never ever going to get what they are due. Give to the community what they are due. Not saying, again, that everybody needs to have the craziest polls, the craziest cards out of promo, but at least, I'm going to go ahead here and say, at least give decent fodder. Give decent fodder. They don't need to pack the craziest, the top tier cards, but at least they can go ahead and pack decent ones. An example right here is the Shapeshifter Hero promo, where there's Shapeshifter Hero cards, and I, nobody, none of you will tell me that they've packed the Shapeshifter Hero. Finally, boys, before we wrap up this video, I want to talk about this word that uh, uh, Nick said. He said stale. He said that esports uh, content this year was stale, right? And I'm, I know I'm coming back again on content, but I, I think that word describes very well what, what we received this year. Stale in two different ways, right? Stale quality wise very much stale we got the same card throughout the same throughout every single promo esports you are a million dollar company hire people who are going to give you a little bit more creative juice that is necessary because your content this year was absolutely stale i agree with nick on that quantity wise no quantity wise we just we we got flooded we got absolutely flooded but i just wanted to touch on that word that really just summarize summarizes the the experience for me uh, playing fifa 22 it's been stale it's been stale the same cards throughout the entire year the same rewards throughout the entire year the same poor rewards throughout the entire year the same poor gameplay throughout the entire year only being addressed and being fixed late in july i mean late in the game now in july the uh fact that uh, the complaints, the, the the things that the community wants to see are still not being put in place. We want to see more metrics on what EA Sports says they fix, say they fix. We want to see more metrics on uh, the improvements that are done on this game, right? We want to see better content. We want to see better gameplay. Boys, drop a like on this video if you think this video was helpful. I really wanted to react to this uh, very, very good video that Nick Run the Foot Market did. I think sometimes uh, content creators needs to come out need to come out like inception like nick and really just put a break on put a break on the car right put a break on the car taking the time to analyze what we've gone through throughout the entire year we love soccer we love the game of soccer we also love playing it simulating the experience of real life soccer but uh esports has a lot of work to do to improve on that and we hope that with fifa 23 and the competition that is to come uh, for FIFA, they're going to step their game up. They're going to be able to propose to us, ultimately, a better experience. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, boys. This was your FIFA Commenter giving you a reaction video. I will catch every single one of you shortly. Let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this, if you want more of these reactions, if you want more of these breakdown videos, and I will do exactly that. Drop a like. Peace out, boys.